Megan here. Um, quick video. It's actually it's not gonna be fucking quick. Probably under ten minutes. How gains are made. How muscle is actually built. This is the goal of everyone who goes to the gym. This is the goal of everyone who's trying to put on muscle. We are simply trying to put the puzzles, the pieces of the puzzle together, right? And I'm gonna explain in this video exactly how it works, right? I feel like as you guys know my channel, I'm big on going inside and figuring out what is causing, you know, the the growth. You know, what is the process with the whole thing? Whether you're trying to lose fat, you know, gain weight, build muscle, whatever, it's crucial to understand exactly how it works. Why? Because that allows you to inter interpret uh, interpret information. When you're reading an article, when you're reading a study, when you hear somebody giving you advice, based on your knowledge or the mechanisms, you can actually know if the person is spitting out bullshit or if what they're saying actually works, right? So it's very important to understand the processes behind everything, right? Obviously in school, we didn't pay attention to any of that shit. I didn't pay attention to it in school, to be honest. But, you know, it helps to know these things. All right, so first, let's start with the goal. The goal of muscle building, right, obviously, is to read, say your body's trying to build a bigger bicep, right? Trying to build a bigger bicep. It's simply going to be, you know, a, a combination of amino acids, right? Combination of amino acids. They put in a certain way and it leads to protein, polypeptides, right? And that's going to be your bicep or, your, you, know, you know, parts of your bicep, obviously, or whatever your body's trying to grow. It's simply a combination of amino acids put together to form, uh, you know, protein. In the case of uh, muscles, the muscle fiber, you know, the actin and myosin chain. Now, how are you going to put this amino acids together? Your body has to know a way. Your body has to know, well, should I put, you know, leucine first or valine first or phenylalanine first? You know, your body has to know, you know, the way. It's like solving a puzzle, you know. you Somehow you need to know the steps and where to put, you know, every single ingredient. That's going to be in your DNA. That's what your DNA is for. Your DNA simply has your genes, which are the, you know, which is, it contains the code. It contains the instructions for how your body's going to build proteins, you know, whether your body's trying to make new testicles or fucking whatever it is it's trying to do, you know, and, and, and obviously in this case, we're trying to build muscle, so let's focus on building muscle, so let's say you, you're training, your body, you tear your biceps down, and your body wants to rebuild parts of your biceps bigger and stronger, well, it needs to know how to put those amino acids together, right, that's going to be in your DNA, so the goal is obviously to go inside the DNA, copy the code, paste it, and then interpret it, that's all it is, your body, you know, goes inside the DNA, Finds the gene that has the code for how to build bigger biceps or whatever. Your body's going to copy that, take it out of the, the nucleus, you know, and then paste it. It's going to paste it, and then, your body, you know, obviously it's going to start putting the amino acids together. It's going to go, oh, okay, I see. We need to put this first, and then this amino acid, and then this amino acid. Boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, you have, you know, more actin and myosin chains. You have bigger muscles, you know, and uh, the goal of your dreams, whatever it is. Okay, so this is the goal. Now, let's look at the players involved. Obviously, you have the ingredients, you need the amino acids, you need the hormones, right? IGF-1, testosterone, growth hormone, all that other stuff, right? And you actually obviously need energy, ATP, okay? You have uh, the androgen receptor here. That's where your testosterone is going to bind to. Uh, remember, testosterone, you know, hormones, just like testosterone or whatever, they cannot exert their effect unless they have a, a receptor to bind to. They have to attach to it, you know, and then start doing the shit. Uh, obviously, I'm putting it outside, but usually you have some receptors that are inside the cell. Steroid hormones can go inside the cell before they bind to the receptors. But anyway, staying, you know, staying on, t on track. Uh, you have the IGF-1 receptor. That's going to take IGF-1, of course. IGF-1, obviously, you should know about now. It's uh, very important for uh, protein synthesis. Um, you have, uh, what else? You have the ribosome. I'm going to explain in a second. That's the factory. That's where the building really takes place. That's where your body really... It's like, it's like in, a, in a factory. You're trying to put together... You know, uh, I don't know, like a toy. You have that conveyor belt where all the pieces are put together. That's what the ribosome is. You have the transcription factor. That's when the testosterone binds to the androgen receptor. It goes inside and it starts copying. You know, transcription factor simply that help in transcription, which is copying the the code. You have RNA polymerase, which does the exact same thing. You know, it it goes it goes inside the nucleus, blah blah blah, and then it copies the code. And it creates this thing here called mRNA, which is the copy of the code. Right? Remember, you don't want to take, the, you don't want to cut and paste. You want to copy and paste. You want to leave the DNA intact. That's why your body just copies it. It's called mRNA, and that's that's what goes ahead and serves as the instructions to build uh, whatever it is you're building. Um, you have tRNA, which is the transfer RNA. Right? That's simply what takes. Let's say your body reads the code and goes, "Oh, we need uh, we need leucine." All right? Uh, bring some leucine. tRNA is the guy that's gonna go ahead. He's gonna Take uh, leucine, 
and he's gonna come and put it together, right? He's gonna come and put the next amino acid. You know, I'm gonna show you how everything goes, right? Transfer RNA is simply what carries the required amino acid to the building site. Okay, so let's get started. We know the goal, which is to read the code and interpret it. We know the players. Now let's get the actual process. All right, so first it starts with activation, right? Your brain needs to, you know, find a reason to grow. So let's say you go to the gym and you train or you go into puberty, your body wants to get bigger, so it starts pumping out all these fucking hormones. Boom, activation begun, right? So let's let's use testosterone as an example. Testosterone is going to, you know, go ahead. Hold on, let me take testosterone. Let me copy and paste that. Oh, no. Come on, cooperate, work with me here. All right, so that's what's going to come. It's going to bind to its androgen receptor, right? And when these two bind together, they become something called a transcription factor, right? Let's just keep it simple, transcription factor. Let's assume those two fuse into this. This thing is going to come, and oh, son of a bitch. I'm supposed to copy the whole thing. Uh, let's take that. Okay, it's going to come. All right, and it's going to bind to the region of the DNA that has the specific instruction that you need to build the protein. It's going to attach to it. Boom. Once it attaches to it, well, it's going to recruit RNA polymerase, which is the guy who actually starts copying and pasting shit. All right. So he's going to come in and he's going to start reading, okay, well, I need this, 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 and that. It's going to take the bases required and it's going to put them together. Once it puts them together, you're going to form this thing here called mRNA. A lot of you guys are familiar with this, you know, which is simply the copy of whatever the, the you know, the code is. And this thing is going to leave the nucleus of the cell and it's going to go outside and it's going to need to come on the, on the ribosomes, which is the, you know, where the building takes place. So let's bring the ribosome. And the ribosome is here. Let me place it here. All right. So it's going to come in and it's going to land on the ribosome. Now it's ready to, you know, to be read and translated into actual muscle, actual protein, right? Now, mind you, the ribosome, you need mTOR to activate the ribosome. Remember, mTOR is the most, one of the most important enzymes for muscle growth. If your mTOR is all fucked up, you've been training for too long, you haven't given it a chance to reset, or you have too much myostatin in your fucking genes and mTOR is not activated, you've been doing too much cardio, you don't have enough energy in the cell, mTOR is not going to be efficient. If mTOR is not efficient, then none of this building is going to take place, regardless of what's happening, okay? So this is what mTOR is for. And what activates mTOR? Of course, IGF-1 activates mTOR, leucine activates mTOR, blah, blah, blah. And that leads to the building of the ribosome. All right, so now we have the instructions. We have the code. It's ready to be built. So what happens? Remember I explained earlier, we, we're in a translation phase. You're going to have transfer RNA. Transfer RNA. Let me... Uh, Transfer RNA is going to come along. Let me delete this amino acid. All right. It's going to come along. It's going to take whatever, you know, it's going to, you know, whatever amino acid you need. Let's say you need leucine. Let's say you need phenylalanine. It's going to go ahead. It's going to take phenylalanine, right? The amino acid. And it's going to bring it here. All right. So let me now take this. So it's going to take it and it's going to come and it's going to find this matching place. Boom. All right, so now you have the first amino acid in the chain. And once it's done, it's going to become this fucker here. It's just going to go away and fucking die, all right? Next, you have the next one. It's going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. It's going to go take the next amino acid that's required because now you have the code. Now you actually know where to get the next, you know, what's, what comes next in the chain. It's going to get the next amino acid, and it's going to come, and it's going to put it right next to it. And then it's going to go ahead and fucking die again, all right? And this whole process is going to keep repeating. Let me just copy and paste that. It's going to keep repeating over and over and over again and what happens look what happens when you keep putting you know each amino acid next to to his to his uh fucking partner look you end up with a long chain of amino acids which is what protein gains right it's gonna form this long chain here right and then eventually that's gonna lead to the muscle being bigger and all that other shit that's really all that's happening right and this entire process is obviously fueled by ATP. You need ATP from the mitochondria. It's going to take the food that you eat, convert it into ATP, and, you know, ATP actually allows this whole thing to keep happening. All right, guys, so you have the three ingredients, amino acids, growth factors, ATP. Once you have all those three, you know, in the, in the recipe, your body's going to naturally 
go through step one, which is the activation. It's going to require the hormones. You have step two, which is the copying of the code. And then you have step three, which is the translation of the code to form whatever protein it is. Remember, when you're getting bigger, your body's synthesizing. That's what's called protein synthesis. Your body's synthesizing protein, synthesizing new actin and myosin chain to make your biceps or your chest get bigger and bigger and bigger. Right? So whatever training you're doing, whatever workout you're doing, just make sure you activating all of these pathways here, right? And mind you, these, th these things here are satellite cells. I spoke about satellite cells several times. Uh, if you don't know what they are, look them up, look at my videos. Satellite cells are going to obviously come in, donate new nucleus, new nuclei to the, to the muscle. And the more nucleus you have, the more DNA you have, the more DNA you have, the faster this process is going to go on, on and on and on and on, all right? So hope this clears everything out. Now you finally understand why you go to the gym, why you eat your protein, why you, you know, you, you do all this, you know, craziness. It's simply to speed up this process. All right, guys, like the video for proof helpful. If you want me to go into more depth in a longer video or in a shorter video, comment that below. Subscribe. I'm out of here. Team 3D. Other segments. So go in the comment section and just vote. Vote on what you think is your most requested uh, topic. And then obviously the one that has the most likes are the ones that are going to prioritize. Uh, in case let's